From Haseem Rahman Jr. pulling out of his fight with Jake, to KSI admitting that he's scared of facing him in the ring, let's take a look at fighters that are terrified of Jake Paul. And right off the bat, it's Floyd Mayweather. Now, the bad blood between these two dates back to the time when Floyd fought Jake's brother, Logan Paul, in an exhibition. In his short boxing career so far, Jake has challenged Mayweather to a fight many times, but no fight between the two has been announced yet. A lot of fans can't help but wonder why and he's not a serious fighter um, and I'm gonna prove that that's why this fight's called the truth because the truth's gonna come out well let me tell you guys the reason as it turns out Floyd is evading the fight purposefully all because he's scared of getting defeated I know this might sound absurd but believe me folks it makes a lot of sense see ever since his last professional fight with Conor McGregor where he perfected his record to 50 and 0 all Floyd has done since then is put on exhibition fights but unlike his brother Jake doesn't want that he wants to fight Mayweather on a professional basis just so that fans get treated to do a real fight. I mean, it doesn't take a genius to guess that the stakes would be so much higher, and it would be extremely embarrassing for Floyd to get defeated. That too by someone who literally just started out on this career path. So that leaves us with one question. If Floyd's really not scared like he says he isn't and thinks he can defeat Paul easily, then why not just step into the ring with the guy, even if it's just for the money, right? That said, do you guys remember the time Haseem Rahman Jr. dropped out of his fight with Jake? Yeah, this happened back in 2022, less than a week before the two fighters were supposed to face each other at New York's Madison Square Garden, the bout was cancelled. Jake's company, Most Valuable Promotion, released a statement that criticized Haseem for being unprofessional. The YouTuber turned boxer then took to social media and claimed that Rahman feared him. Not only that, but he added that Haseem wanted more money too. He stated that he always knew that Rahman would never stay step inside the ring with him because of the fear of getting knocked out. Haseem then went public with a statement of his own. He claimed that the fight was actually cancelled over his weight issues, which honestly sounded like a very bad excuse since he made no effort to cut weight before the bout. If Haseem had stepped into the ring with Paul, he would have seen the biggest payday of his life, but he threw that away. And the reason behind it was pretty clear, folks. The reward was simply not worth the risk of embarrassment on a global stage. Till this point, Jake only had victories against a fellow YouTuber, a former NBA star, and even ex-MMA champions like Ben Askren and Tyron Woodley. So I do understand why Haseem decided not to go through with the fight. It's, it's disrespectful. There's some of the biggest names in boxing, some of the biggest promoters in the world, some of the most influential people in the world, one of the greatest countries in the world, and he doesn't want to show up because, yo, a private matter, cool. Moving on, let's talk about a fight that did end up happening. Yep, I'm talking about Tommy Fury versus Jake Paul. Now this was a very important fight, because Fury wasn't just fighting for himself, but he was actually representing a professional sport against an influencer. Let me give you guys a rundown of the drama that took place outside the ring. Tommy Fury backed out of the fight twice before it actually happened. The first time, he claimed that it was because of a chest infection and a broken rib and then the second time, he claimed that he couldn't enter the United States due to visa restrictions. That's not all. He even refused to fly out to the Middle East for a press conference with Jake to promote their match. It didn't take long for fans to speculate that maybe Tommy just wasn't ready to face Paul. According to Fury's former opponent, Anthony Taylor, Tommy was scared of getting disowned by his father and Tyson Fury if he lost to Paul. On top of that, there was even the risk of him losing a lot of sponsors. And don't even get me started on the humiliation he would have faced. Even Tyson publicly warned his brother that he'll have to retire the family name if he fails to beat Jake. Imagine having that much pressure put on you. Still, despite being terrified, Tommy managed to pull through and win by a split decision. To the winner by split decision, Tommy
But that's not all, guys. Even KSI has admitted he's scared of stepping into the octagon with Paul. I'll admit, there's been a lot of bad blood between these two. But the thing is that even after all the drama, these two haven't faced each other in the ring. So why is that? Well, it's all because KSI keeps flaking out. Sometimes he blames it on COVID-19 restrictions and how he wasn't able to train. Other times he'll say that he isn't at the level that he needs to be in order to face Jake and win. And when he's not making excuses like these, KSI claims that if he was to fight the problem child, then interest in influencer boxing might seriously decrease. Or in other words, he just doesn't want to get knocked out by Paul. Even Ryan Garcia thinks the same. I mean, everyone knows that Jake's a much better boxer. If you look at the people KSI has defeated, it's nothing compared to Paul's. But let me just say, this fight needs to happen as soon as possible, because people are just getting tired of waiting around. Now, I have to include Conor McGregor in this list, because Jake hasn't really been shy about his desire to fight Conor, but the former UFC 2 division champ is just not interested. Let's talk about whether he simply couldn't care less or is just plain scared. I um, mean, he's going to have to pay for all the times he pulled out, all the business people he screwed over. Like I mentioned earlier, Jake's rise in the sport has been nothing short of remarkable. The YouTuber turned boxer believes his performance against Anderson Silva was enough to scare off McGregor. Yes, and much more aggressive Silva. This is what you oh. Silva knocked down by Paul. On top of that, the problem child hired a plane to fly a banner labeling Connor too scared to fight him, but it still didn't get him the reaction he hoped for. Then Mike Tyson bluntly told Paul that Connor isn't scared to face him and that he's just not interested in fighting with a YouTuber, which makes sense since Connor's too focused on making his return to the UFC for now. But that still doesn't change the fact that many are quite afraid of Jake Paul. Shail Sonnen has stated that the boxing world is worried that some guy can step up later in life without full focus and just doing well. Chael added that Paul's success just raises question about the extent to which someone should dedicate their life to getting into the sport. That's something really interesting to think about, isn't it? Well, let's wrap up this video by talking about his upcoming bout with Nate Diaz. Now, there's been a lot of hype around this fight, even before it was officially announced. Many fans wanted it to take place. The predictions so far are that Jake will beat Diaz in the ring all because the problem child possesses serious knockout power. And if he were to land one on Nate, well, it's safe to say that it would be lights out for the fighter. So if Diaz isn't scared already, he definitely should be. Even Daniel Cormier hopes Diaz isn't underestimating Jake Paul. Plus, Nate at this point in his career is just a retired small MMA fighter. He's trying to fight anyone who will step into the ring with him. People are actually rooting for Jake and even saying that it's going to be an easy win for him. I guess we'll have to wait and watch if that happens. Well, there you have it. Those are fighters who are terrified of Jake Paul. It means the world that you're supporting me. I'm going to knock this guy out. I haven't received so much love for a fight ever. Um, and I'm just going to go put on a show and do what we do best to prove the world wrong.